I'm Steven from Nora Knives. This is a 10 inch custom Karasuki we made at an M4, at a 67 Rockwell. This is one of our thinnest grinds possible. When you see on our website, it says very thin and delicate. That's this knife. And we're gonna cut some veggies. Just kind of do the standard tomato sharpness test. Which normally for M4 at this hardness isn't an issue at all. The nice thing with this knife is it's very thin. You can see the cross section, and then I, I do my geometry right at the edge. So it just allows for very little food release and it li lets it cut very nicely. So I am not a chef, I'm not a professional, and I, I do this for fun. Nice tip work. It's one of my favorite things about these. So we have a couple different profiles. Um, this one actually allows for rock. There is a sweet spot in it right back here which I tried to design at least a two to three inch sweet spot in most of our knives, but this one actually has enough that it'll actually rock. You gotta talk them, babe. You gotta entertain them. I don't do that much. <laughs> so. This has a nice rock, nice feel to it kind of lets you do whatever you want. Um, the geometry is nice just for ease of release. I mean, this one sticks on the blade slightly, but it dropped off right after. Do you want tomato? No, tomato, okay. Do chop a different place. Uh, First sauce. Should put it like that. We actually do need those tomatoes for the salsa. Yeah, so. no, that's exactly the thing. I was like, chop it for salsa. The biggest thing on the sharpening is the skin itself. Tomato skins are notorious for just putting you in your place when it comes to sharpening. If you haven't done your sharpening just right, it always, I mean, it'll slide right across. You know, it'll start doing that type of stuff. This one's actually really nice. One of the best tests on tomatoes. So if I take this tomato, cut it. You take a blade and you kind of just put it on it and then pull with just the weight of the blade. It should fall right through a tomato and it shouldn't drag. I mean, it is a brand new fresh edge, so it's kind of like cheating. But if I just kind of let go and then just pull, it'll slice right through. Come in, Danny. Not when you edit it all together. All right, okay. What am I doing? I can try. I'm not the cook in the family, but yeah, I can cut a tomato. Here. Don't cut yourself. Steve and I are a little different. Like I pull, cut everything. For me, that's just easier and I like it. It feels like cleaner. I'm not a chopper. Some people chop. I uh, I will pull, and a lot of times too, I'll roll. And so, this one works good both ways. 
but again, neither of us as a professional, we're pretty actually low on the, uh, the knife skill front. On the knife skill front, which is sad for knife makers. Speed that up. Huh? <laughs> Do it, Miguel. Yeah. Speed it up, slim me down.